Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to uh, show you how I uh, set up my user interface. Um, a lot of the videos I have up um, were from a previous version of Adobe Animate. So uh, it's pretty much the same. Um, the UI that I um, use will look like this. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So you start off with just your essentials in the workspace. And that's what this little button here is, workspace. So when you click on it, you can hover over all of these different ones. There's one that's called animator. Um, there it goes. And it, it kind of like reverses everything on the screen. It's, it's super useful. Um, however, I find it easiest to sort of learn on this basic... Uh, UI format. Um, now, one of the things that I um, do is it, when it starts like this, really all I'm doing is I move all of these items onto the left side. And it's really not hard to do. You just click and drag, and then you'll hover over to the side, and you'll see how it kind of highlights blue. And then you release, and it sort of docks it here on the left. And I just do that for each one. So I'm just clicking and dragging these directly over to this new sort of docking station here. And that sort of frees everything up. And if you want, you can always drag this out a little bit just to see what they actually say. So this is your color swatches. These are some of your transform options and settings uh, to align something on the stage. Um, one of the most important things, and, and I cover this uh, in any of the labs that we do, but you always want to make sure that you do align to stage. Otherwise, it seems like these buttons don't really work. So um, just make sure that uh, a majority, probably like 90 nine percent of the time you need to make sure this aligned to stage is on but um not really important yet but just so you're aware uh, and then this is some of the information if i had something drawn on the screen you'll notice as i hover my mouse the x and y uh coordinates um adjust and that would be if i had an actual object symbol drawing selected um it'll give me like the width the height uh x y z coordinates color uh, information here. So this is red, green, uh, blue, and this A is for alpha. Uh, opacity, transparency, alpha is just a different term for that. Um, some motion presets. Um, brush library. There's going to be different brushes, uh, layer depth, um, and frame picker. But most of the stuff we'll be covering, at least here in the beginning, will be color, uh, the swatches, transform, and possibly uh, the align as well. But once you have all of these dragged over to the side, what you can do is you can click again here and rename your workspace if you'd like. I, I created one called Essentials Custom because it is the essentials. I just customized a little bit of it. Um, and then also in your window, when we get to it, you can actually dock a lot of these things um, into here as well uh, as we continue through the semester. But these are a lot of different windows that you can have um, if needed. So anyway, you can uh, actually, if you were to open up anything here, you could dock it off to the side just as we did these. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you on this particular video. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and show you how I sort of set up my scene um, or my UI, and uh, that's about it for this. So anyway, thanks for watching, um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.